Hi, I'm James Spearman. Thanks for coming to my channel. Today, I wanted to go into Garmin upgrades. I picked out a few of our most common aircraft and I wanted to show you the before and after. So it would give you an idea of what you could expect if you have your airplane upgraded. And to kick it off, I'm going to start with Cirrus. If you've got a G1, G2, G3, and it's never been upgraded, you've got some outdated tech in there, what you see is a uh, mid-2000s range G3 Cirrus, and I still service many aircraft just like this. It has the Integra PFD, MFD, it's got an engine monitoring system, two Garmin 430s, STEC 55X, Steam standby instruments, and they at some point upgraded the transponder. Um, and they have a Garmin GMA 345 audio panel. There's still a lot of Cirrus aircraft out there that still have this exact setup in it. When this came out, it was an awesome setup. It worked for a lot of people, and it's still working and serving the community today. I will say it's ripe for an upgrade, and Avidine themselves know that. They're trying to get Vantage approved, and Garmin has focused their GTN setup on Cirrus. And so let's go ahead and take a look at what this would look like if you wanted a full Garmin GTN setup. I've got two examples of what this could look like. You can see these TXI PFD MFD. This one also has the engine monitoring system. It's got a GTN 750, 650, and it has GFC 500 autopilot. And they did away with their standby steam instruments. They did a GI 275 that took care of all of the standby instruments. And this is an incredible setup. Um, you can see, looking back to what it did look like and what it does now, the amount of visual difference is huge. This particular plane, you can see they also upgraded the panel itself. Um, all of this is customizable and you can make it as detailed as you want for your current setup. The additional situational awareness and the ease of use of this system is hard to explain the difference. In this setup, they decided to go with a more of a budget option, which is also a great idea as well. You can see they decided to keep the PFD and MFD Integra screens, but then they decided to go ahead and install two GTN uh, 650s to get rid of the Garmin 430s. This is a good option because Garmin is no longer, uh, they've, they've put out there that they are no longer making parts for the Garmin 430s and 530s anymore. They're going to only provide support as long as they have parts and then once that runs out, they will be uh, no longer serviceable. For owners out there that aren't looking to go ahead and uh, bite off the, the full chunk and, and redo the entire plane, this keeps the aircraft modern. And the Integras, as far as right now, are still being serviced by Avidyne. And while the STEC Autopilot is becoming increasingly difficult to maintain, um, it still would be an option. Um, a budget option here, I think, would, to get rid of the STEC 55X, you're either looking the Garmin GFC 500 Autopilot or the Avidyne DFC 90 slide-in replacement. The downsides with the slide-in replacement is that it's still using the original STEC tray. And we've noticed in the field that it causes issues down the road. Um, and Avidyne has put out there as well that it's causing issues with the original tray. So if you do this, um, there's not much labor to slide in the new unit but I think it's a little bit short-sighted. Hopefully you get a few years use out of that, uh, but I would recommend going ahead and putting the actual DFC 90 tray and connector kit in there moving forward. Another popular aircraft out there that I still see 
original equipment and avionics in is the A36 Bonanza, which is one of my all-time favorite aircraft. It is, <laughs> to me, really fast and you can haul quite a bit in it. I think it's easy to use and I was kind of raised on it. So I have a soft spot in my heart for the A36. This setup that you see here is exactly like a plane that I can go straight to their hangar and work on right now. It's got the Garmin 530. It still has the old uh, autopilot Bendix King, uh, sorry, radios in this one. It still has an old original Bendix audio panel. It has all steam gauges, round dials. This plane, if you own one of these, you know that you're sending off uh, these units to be overhauled every couple of years, it seems like, especially the PFD or HSI and any of the other steam gauges. They tend to start needing help. This particular unit is, uh, many of them are in the 70s, uh, late 70 aircraft. This is what this A36 can look like. You see they did the TXI screens, they did the Garmin engine monitor in the middle, GTN 750, GTN 650, and a GFC 500 autopilot. And this is much, much cleaner than the original setups that came with this aircraft. It simplifies the panel and it's easier to use. Ultimately, it increases situational awareness and will also in return increase safety. I can't tell you the amount of times that I've been out flying and there is another pilot or another aircraft out there that's overtaking me and I wouldn't have known it if I didn't have some sort of ADS-B in product like this Garmin setup where I can see the traffic around me. I know a lot of people out there are still flying with a Sentry and an iPad which I still uh, do myself. This is a quick reference where I can have all of my flight instruments, the engine instruments, and the traffic and weather around me, the immediate threats, right? Terrain also. And maintain situational awareness at a quick, much quicker pace than when I'm hand flying, let's say that original A36, and I'm getting bumped around from the weather. Um, you still have all the steam gauges that are tend to go out. Um, and I am trying to take my iPad and pull it out and figure out what's going on around me. Um, it is much harder, so this is a cleaner, beautiful setup. In this picture, they decided to go a little bit more of a budget route. They still kept the TXI screen, but they decided to have the GTN 750 and 650, um, and they overlaid the engine instruments on the main PFD and MFD. This is also a great option too, because it simplifies the panel even more. You don't have to worry about a screen on the other side. And if you're typically only flying by yourself, and you're not doing any flight, flight training in this type of aircraft, uh, this is a perfectly great setup. It does everything that I just mentioned and does it at a little bit lower of a price point because you don't have the additional hardware and screens and the panel is simpler. This aircraft is a King Air 200. Here's a little bit on the higher level. That is a professional level aircraft, right? It's pressurized, and you're gonna be flying at the flight levels. This is an aircraft where Oftentimes the owner will not be flying it. However, it is possible that some of my customers still fly their King Air. And this is an aircraft that's a great example to show the contrast one versus the other. Because I, as you can see, the older technology in this King Air 200 is night and day difference because you have, look at all the dials for both engines. You have weather radar systems, old school navigators, you've got steam gauges on both sides, although this one has been upgraded slightly with a PFD and HSI um, on the pilot side. However, this is extremely complicated and as far as a workload for a pilot, this is very high. All you Bubba's out there that fly the King Air all the time in this exact setup, you're probably like, it's totally fine. I totally get you. I fly the King or the KC-135 also, and I fly these King Airs also. I can tell you that it is a lot of work. <laughs> this can be simplified greatly, and if you're the owner of a King Air and you're flying around with your family in the back of it, and you have professional pilots flying up front, you want them to have the best tools that, as possible so that they can keep you and your families safe. And just as I promised, the visual appearance is night and day different. They did 
dual TXI screens, they did the GFC 600 autopilot, they did dual GTN 750s, and they've got an engine monitor, monitor in this. Look at how much simpler this is. It still has all the same capabilities except even more, but they're now able to be displayed on multifunction displays on the PFDs on both sides and on your GTN 750. From a resale value, it makes a huge difference, I think also. Um, now, you likely won't get the exact dollar for dollar back out of the avionics, but how the pricing system works for all these avionics, um, they're gonna look at the aircraft on the market and they're going to say, okay, is it old avionics or new avionics? And it's gonna land somewhere in a range for both of those. Um, and so it's a huge difference when you step into a glass cockpit like this. It also is neater and your passengers will view it from a much safer aspect. Them getting this approved is awesome. It's a great aircraft to fly. And then with this setup, it makes it that much safer. The King Air will be around forever, probably, as long as I will live, I think. I don't think we'll ever stop seeing the King Air in use. It is a great aircraft and it's a workhorse. And one honorable mention aircraft that I wanted to bring up is the Piper Meridian. The GFC 600 has just been approved for that aircraft as well. Many of my customers that own a Piper Meridian still have the Mega Autopilot and it makes it um, hard, or what should I say, the STEC Autopilot system in it. And it makes it hard to use and it has issues frequently and they're normally looking for something else. And so I'm really proud that Garmin was able to get their GFC 600 so that these customers can have an option out of their legacy STEC Autopilot. And me as a maintainer, it makes my life so much easier where there's an actual option uh, to just go ahead and replace it versus let's just try to keep fixing it over and over and over and over again. So regardless of which aircraft you have, any of these setups increase safety, they increase situational awareness, and they help the resale value of your aircraft. If you'd like more information, go to my website, www.spearmanaircraft.com and fill out our form. Let us know you're interested in avionics. We'll send you an email back that'll get a little bit more information so that we can best build your quote. And you should see a quote shortly thereafter. We stand by our work and we offer a one-year warranty on all of our labor alongside Garmin's robust product warranty. I'm James Spearman and thank you for watching. Happy flying.